So hello everyone this is Dr Anjali Kumar once again bringing you greetings from Methri So we are back to PCOD once again polycystic ovarian disease it's all around us practically one in every five women today is suffering from PCOD it's a complex disease with multiple reasons to blame for probably a sedentary lifestyle lack of exercise lack of sleep lot of stress and of course a faulty diet there is lot of information available on internet about nutrition in case of PCOD some of it could be true but some of it actually may not be based on sound science and may not be as trustworthy as we would like to believe we did a video on diet philosophy for PCOD but lot of you actually requested for a diet plan for PCOD so today i will be giving you a practical diet plan an indian diet plan for pcod this would ensure an adequate nutrition improvement in insulin resistance of course weight loss improvement in inflammation and of course relief from pcod symptoms and needless to say this has to be combined with the right amount of exercise and stress management plan This diet plan comes from my experience from modern science and my yoga teachings both. This is a pure vegan diet plan. Now we have enough medical evidence talking about the benefits of a plant-based diet over animal-based diet, especially in cases of PCOD and metabolic syndrome. This diet also does not contain any dairy products and of course no refined packaged and processed food. This diet contains ample amount of complex carbohydrates to ensure optimum blood sugar levels to reduce insulin spikes also good amount of plant based proteins and very minimal external fats this diet plan will be roughly about 1200 to 1400 kilo calories and i will try and give you two or three options for each meal so let's get started it's important to keep your sleep and wake up cycle right So try and get up early in the morning by about 6 a.m. or 6:30 a.m. and you can start your morning with a powerful antioxidant drink. You can either have methi water, methi seeds are also known as fenugreek seeds. They are powerful antioxidants. They are known to reduce blood sugar levels and they are known to improve the insulin sensitivity. You can also use curry leaves water now curry leaves have been used in indian kitchens for a very very long time they are also known to work at the insulin sensitivity a lot you can also try moringa moringa is drumstick tree it is known as indian super food and moringa leaves are known to reduce the absorption of sugar at the cellular level or you can simply start your day with a simple cinnamon ginger and a lemon drink so next comes the exercise time so you can go for simply walking running cycling you can go for your gym session you can go for the swimming class or include any cardio workout it's a good idea to include some strength training exercises also like lunges squats or planks and always make sure that you include some sun time pcod patients typically or rather invariably have vitamin d deficiency so then let's talk about the most important meal of the day the breakfast the first option for the breakfast is to make a chila with lots of vegetables So for the flour you can either use besan you can use moong dal which is pureed you can use makhi ka aata or baale for the vegetables you can use spinach methi grated carrots maybe grated beetroot make sure that you use the flour and the vegetables in one is to one ratio so which means that there are lots of vegetables in that chila 
Preferably cook it without oil. If you like, you may use one teaspoonful of desi ghee while cooking your chila. You can serve two medium-sized chila with any dal and any seasonal vegetables. You can also add little bit of green chutney or peanut chutney along with that. The second option for the breakfast is that you can either use poha or upma for all those who don't like chila. Once again here remember that the ratio of the poha or upma along with the vegetables is 1 is to 1 which means that there is adequate amount of vegetables in that preparation. You can again serve it with either green chutney or peanut chutney. Then coming to the mid-morning drink which you can have somewhere around 11 to 12 in the morning. The first option is that you can make a nice smoothie. You can make it with spinach, apple, oranges, little bit of ginger into it. You can also try kanji. It's a very popular North Indian drink where the black carrot pieces are actually put in water along with the uh, mustard seeds and they are left like that to ferment for next two or three days. So any fermented drink is actually rich in vitamin B12 which is very good for the ovarian function. You can also uh, take buttermilk for the morning drink. Then coming to the lunch time. So the first option for the lunch time is that you can have a medium bowl of either a sprout salad or a kabuli chana salad or a boiled moong dal salad. So you can use any seasonal vegetables like um, capsicum, carrots and apples and maybe even grapes or tomatoes put into it. You can also have just a bowl of fruits along with some seeds like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds. Even putting coconut pieces and dates will actually make it delicious. And you would actually wonder how these bowls are so very filling. Then around 4 to 5 p.m. you can have a light mid-evening snack. You can either have some green tea or coconut water or lemon water and you can have some about 8 to 10 roasted uh, nuts like walnuts, fox nuts or maybe even almonds along with that. So then it's dinner time around 6 to 7 p.m. Make sure that you finish your dinner by about 7 p.m. So for dinner, you can have rice with any dal, maybe even veg sambar. You can even try khichdi, which is basically just rice with any dal cooked with some onions and tomatoes. Now, I would here want to say that rice is not bad. It's okay to have white rice. Brown rice is not superior to white rice. And don't forget for a 30 minutes post dinner walk. At bedtime, you can have simple warm water with cinnamon. Cinnamon is something which is known to improve the insulin sensitivity and it is known to help the PCOD patients. In case you're feeling very hungry, you can have freshly squeezed coconut milk also at bedtime. Make sure that your bed timings and sleep timings are right. You can also do little bit of breathing exercises, meditation, a little shavasana session to reduce your bedtime cortisol levels which will help you in your PCOD recovery. And always make sure no electronic devices one hour before you actually sleep. Once again, few principles about the diet. It is not really required to starve yourself to lose weight. It is not required to eat less to treat your PCOD. Always learn to differentiate between hunger and temptation. Prefer plant-based diet over the animal-based diet. Learn to eat simple, seasonal, local food. Learn to mess around with your food as little as possible. Avoid restaurant food, packaged food, processed food, refined food. Avoid plastic packaging in your food. Avoid unnecessary refrigeration or microwaving of the food. You can always prefer uh, jaggery or kansari, which is the unrefined sugar over the processed sugar. 
फेफर देसी घी और कच्ची घानी मस्टर्ड ऑयल और अदर सीड ऑयल्स ओवर दी रिफाइंड ऑयल्स ड्रिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ वाटर ऑलवेज बी पॉजिटिव स्लीप वेल बी हैप्पी so i know many of you might find this diet very difficult to follow or maybe even challenging but believe me it's a wholesome diet and you would actually start feeling much lighter and much energetic after following this diet and of course you will start losing weight your pcod parameters will start showing a positive change remember any diet or a lifestyle change requires lot of investment lot of time so be patient keep investing in yourself do let me know in your comments as to what was your experience after following this diet next week we are going to be coming up with what kind of supplements you can take for your pcod so uh, i'll see you next week and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to methree